What's going on guys? In today's video, we are going to be taking a closer look at the all new Zealia W5 LED projector that has a native 720p by 1280p resolution. Now, before I dig further into the video, I will actually be giving this away to one of you lucky subscribers. All you have to do is go ahead and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below that begins with my lucky number is, and then put a random number, whatever number you want, and a lucky person that matches the number that is currently in my head or whoever get the closest to to the number I'm thinking right now will be the lucky winner to this one. So make sure you also join the Facebook giveaway group. I will leave all details in the description box below. So here's the box shipped and delivered to you in this brown cardboard box with the Zialia brand on the front, along with some little details right on the corner over here. And we also have a picture of the projector right in the middle. Nothing much on this side. And on the opposite side, we have the exact same details as the other side. Lastly, on top, we also have a built-in handle that will allow us to actually carry this box wherever we go so this is always a plus so here's everything that was inside the box and as you can see the projector is actually pretty small and for something of this small size it actually project a very very good video quality and it also have a very good quality speaker built in there as well so starting from the right hand side the first thing we have is a remote control that has every control that you can think of that is already built in here next we have an AV cable a power cord a free high quality HDMI cable, a 3.5 millimeter to AV input, the user manual along with a thank you cord. And of course, lastly, we have the Zealia W5 LED projector. And here it is guys. So I have been using this projector for the past week now and I have got to say I'm pretty impressed with the video quality and the speaker that it gives out for such a small projector and at the price tag. Now back in the days, I used to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on bigger projector and in today's world, we can just have something this small for a much, much more affordable price and that puts out just as good of a video quality compared to hundreds and thousands of dollars projector back in the days. Now this little projector right here actually have a LED bulb inside that can last up to 60,000 hours. That means if you were to watch three hours of movie every single day, this projector will last you up to literally 55 years. Needless to say, that means pretty much you will never have to change out the LED bulb that is in here. And the bulb inside has 3,800 lumens. That goes to tell you that it projects a very clear video quality for such a small projector. So let's go ahead and move forward to the video. So when it comes to dimension, it is 6.5 inches from the front to back, 8.5 inches from the right to left, and it is only about 2.75 inches thick from top to bottom. So on on the front as you can see right here we have some vents opening to cool down the projector itself and the fan for the projector is on this side as well as over here and it is very very quiet you can barely hear any sound at all whatsoever so you will never have to worry about the fan noise when it comes to watching movies or using this to listen to music on the front we have a lens cover as you can see so you can simply pull this out and remove the lens cover and then you will expose your lens right there every single time you watch movie you can simply put that back on there when you are done to protect it from getting any dirt inside so let's go ahead and turn over to the left hand side nothing much over here now for a closer look at the back this is the power input right here back here we also have another speaker on the back and we also have a usb input along with a hdmi input now this usb part right here actually puts out power as well so let's say if you want to use a fire stick or chromecast for this hdmi input right here you can actually use the power from this usb input to power your fire stick or your chromecast as well so right here we have a ir signal for the remote and on the right hand side we have many many more input as well as outputs first of all we have the sd card input we have a vga input another hdmi input as well as a av input and lastly we also have a 3.5 millimeter audio output in which you can actually connect the headphone on here or even connect a bigger bigger speaker if you want now for a closer look on top right here i really really like the finish that it has on top with this very very glossy gray finish and it is very shiny feels very high in quality also again it has the Zialza brand right here over here we have the focus knob you simply push over to right or left to focus the video to its clearest clarity and right here we have a keystone knob all you have to do is move it over to right or left again now this is to tilt the video so let's say if you have the projector slant upwards a little bit like this or downwards a little bit like this you can simply use the keystone to adjust the picture to make it look flat on the wall and at the bottom right here we have many different controls that includes the power control menu return source okay or select button up down left and right and lastly for a closer look at the 
the bottom of the projector now when it comes to this projector even though it is small size it is actually pretty loaded again so you do have this little extension right here in which you can simply untwist and then raise the projector upwards as you can see right here so when you rest it down the projector is slightly tilt upward and you can also extend it further if you want just like that and then when you're done using it you can simply put it back in and then it'll go back to its original stage. Now you can also mount this upside down on the ceiling because you can't actually use the four screws that are on the four corner right here. And then you can also adjust the video picture. So you can flip the video upside down and you can also flip it from right to left. So that means you can actually project this from behind the screen, in front of the screen, upside down or right to left, however way you want. So let's go ahead and quickly go over all the different controls that you have on the remote here. Now it does require two AAA batteries so make sure you have two AAA battery at home. So we have the power button, zoom button, mute and we have two buttons that is very very convenient for you. You can flip the video again horizontally from left to right or you can flip the video upside down if you decide to mount this upside down on your ceiling. Next this blue button is the listen mode only and we have the volume up down control, rewind, fast forward, previous track, skip to the next track. We have the source button up down right left. We have play and pause button menu, exit, OK or select button and last three button is very interesting. First over here we have the freeze button. So let's say if you're watching a video, you want to freeze the picture anytime, simply press this button. It will freeze the picture. However, the audio and movie will continue to play. All you have to do is press this freeze button again and then the picture will continue to move again. Next is the sound button. So this is a pretty useful button right here. So when you're listening to music or watching movie or watching sports, there are preset EQ inside the projector. So all you have to do is press the sound button to go from movie mode to music mode or to sports mode and over here also a very useful button which is the picture which is the display or the video control so just like the music it also have preset video adjustment that is already built into the projector so you can select from code soft standard or dynamic mode and you will see a difference between all of those different settings so let's go ahead and power it up and show you the video as well as the audio quality that this projector give out and here is the projector on guys now one thing to note here is as you can see my window over here it is actually doing bright daytime right now and the projector still shows very very well guys and again i'm very very impressed as to how bright and how good the video quality is for the price tag and how small the projector actually is so i'm about 14 foot away from the wall so the video you're seeing right now is about 155 or 160 inches or so so i'm gonna play a video for you and the audio you're going to be hearing is coming directly from the projector itself. Side down, you will notice the lid do not close on its own. Now, all the other cones on the market, when you do this, they will actually automatically close. However, check out this cone right here, guys. It works exactly like the original and does not close on its own, as you can see right there, unless we use the force. So they both have the same anti-gravity force. <laughs> Alright, and here we are in total darkness, same distance away, same exact room. The only difference is it is nighttime now. I'm going to play the same clip again to show you how clear it is during the night.
as you can see it guys, even during bright daytime, the projector still shows very well and there's no question as during the nighttime and in the dark, this projector is super, super clear and super bright. Now, even though it is a small projector and at a very, very affordable price, it does everything that bigger projector and more expensive projector can actually do. The video that give out is very clear and bright and the audio quality is also very high in stereo and I believe it is actually on sale right now. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to check it out. But anyway, thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.